the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow, until she was eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all these prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the Gospel presents to us this woman, Anna, a prophetess, who served God, who worshipped God day and night with fasting and prayer, speaking about the child. She was a widow, and we see how she dedicates uh, her time, her life to God and the things of God. She has left the world behind her. Notice what we heard in the first reading. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So we see the prophetess Anna not loving the world, but God alone and serving him with fasting and prayer and awaiting for the promises to be fulfilled. And speaking of the child, when she saw him and recognized in him the Son of God, the promised Messiah. And we are too, or we should be, like this prophetess, someone dedicated to God, to the things of the world. You are in the world, but you shouldn't love the world. You must be in the world, but you do not belong to the world. You are there to be prophets. You are there to speak of Christ. You are there to serve God. You have two altars. You have two altars on which you worship God and offer your sacrifices here in church and there in the world. Here you come to give thanks, just as the prophetess Anna. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God. And then you are out there to speak about the child, to speak of hope, to share with others your joy, your own witness, your own testimony of life. And your, your, your field of battle is the world. Our field of, of, of battle as, as priests is here, among you and sometimes with you. I'm not saying that you're a bad sheep, right? Uh, but our battle is here to give you support, to give you the saving and healing grace of God so that you may continue that battle out there. So you do not love the world but God, that you love God so much that you love the world after God's heart. So let us be faithful to the mission that the Lord has entrusted to us. We should be like this prophetess, Anna, uh, who served God with fasting, with prayer, speaking about the child to others so that others may have the joy she had to know the Messiah, to know Jesus Christ. So let us pray in silence and ask the Lord, Lord, let us not fall into temptation that is 
let us not、um, love the world in such a way that we go astray in the things of the world. Let us pray in silence.